Hi, my name is Kate Formhalls, and today I'm here with the president and vice president of JCA's Accepting Cultures and Diversity Club, seniors Hope Daga and Melissa O'Neill. So thank you guys for sitting down with me today. Um, first off, can you guys just tell us a little bit about what ACDC Club is and what are some of the projects and things you guys have been doing this year? So ACDC is a club for minorities and allies, just people that want to help more and just be more informed about what minorities go through. It was actually created because a student at JCA was called a racial slur, and she wanted to make a community or a club where she could discuss these things and tell people that what happened to her isn't just an isolated event. This event happens to many minorities, many students that go to JCA. So she created the safe space for people to learn, to educate themselves, to discuss, to debate. And that's exactly what we do. We're just carrying on tradition. And some service projects we've done are creating cards for children. We've also done a t-shirt drive. And we're also working with St. Francis closely to host movie nights in order to educate students. Yeah, for sure. Like uh, Melissa was saying, uh, the founder just kind of wanted to create like a safe space where we could just come and talk about anything cultural or political. So I think what Melissa and I have been trying to do recently is kind of just kind of open it up to like everyone at school so they can kind of if they feel like out of place somewhere, they can just come by. And I think Dr. Fisher does a great job too, facilitating everything and just making sure that everyone's heard that needs to be heard and that everything is kept like civil and kind of everything runs smoothly awesome um and how would someone join is there someone they can contact or, and when do you guys meet so there's tons of contact options you can contact dr fisher you can contact her through email or through teams uh same with mrs cameron our director of diversity you can also contact her as well you can contact the president and co-president hope and i and at JCA, we're currently celebrating Black History Month. Um, what are some ways that students or people in the community could get involved and help celebrate as well? So um, I've been talking to Ms. Cameron recently. So we've got like a lot of stuff planned. Um, I don't know if you've seen, but oh, like across the hallways, we've got a lot of quotes from famous um, African-Americans that are down the hallways we've got poetry readings in the morning that she wanted to uh, make sure that it's open to anyone so you don't have to be a member of the club she just says that as long as you want to read or you have some kind of fact or whatever that you want to talk about that just approach her and she'll definitely try to get you in the announcements for that we've got a lot of upcoming projects too that to celebrate black history month like um there's a virtual concert that miss cameron was contacted and she has a limited amount of tickets so if you want to attend that just talk to her. Um, she has a dance performance from a school in Tennessee that she'll be sending out to be shown in homerooms over the next few weeks. Uh, faculty and admin have also recorded videos about uh, um, important black figure that will be kind of shown whenever. We're also planning, like Melissa said, a movie night um, with St. Francis. We just haven't had a date picked for that yet, but that'll be in the announcements later on with our future meetings. Yeah, and there's also some smaller ways to also support um, people during Black History Month. One of my biggest things is that activism doesn't just have to be in school. You can do it wherever, whenever. So for example, signing petitions for justice. You can buy from a small Black-owned business because during COVID times are rough and people need help. You can even try a new food. Like for example, I know Fufu has been very popularized due to TikTok. So you guys can try Fufu, which is a traditional African dish. So. That's some way, other ways to celebrate Black History Month. I think um, the Habitat for Humanity is also working on what is it, Operation Care Package. And I think there should be a few um, Black alumni owned businesses in there mixed in with the other ones too. So if you want, you can also give that a look. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm Kate Formhalls. That's all for me. Now back to you in the studio. For more information, please visit our website.